today what we are doing is we are trying on some new things um, from my boutique uh, we got these we're gonna start selling um, you probably saw me wear these already but I'm trying to figure out sizing these are a medium I believe these are a medium um, the feeling they feel so nice like I wish I could let me see if you can actually and they don't show any like you can't really see but you don't see your underwear which is like a plus for me um, I've done this before it's so embarrassing but you don't see your underwear I've been out and you can see like my underwear my skin it's a no for me um, but these are good and then it comes with a turtleneck let me grab it and then here's the top as I mentioned you get the turtleneck I love a turtleneck in the winter like fall months they're essentials like for sure for sure but yeah this let me adjust the lighting a little um yeah it's perfect perfect my scarf came off um yeah I think the medium is the right fit for me I do I do I do um but yeah love the feel of this like it's almost like that um I don't know how to describe it like an athletic like thick kind of material if that makes sense like this material um it's like compression -y. is that the right word I don't know I, I'm always on here making up words um but yeah I like this one so it comes in like a cream color it's gonna come in a brown color um, I'll probably do like a complete try on of these products so that you can see like how it looks better I feel like on here I don't know how great it's picking up but yeah I like this a lot a lot I'll see you guys um I think we're gonna go to Walmart I gotta pick up some Cheetos mac and cheese um I just found out about those they're probably so old but I just found out about the Cheetos mac and cheese so I'm gonna pick those up I think I need to get some oat milk um almond milk what else do I need to get I'm gonna pick up some steaks I think that's about it I don't really have much to grab from the grocery store but I'm gonna go out just like this like you guys just saw um I wanted to get my nail fixed guys I still have not fixed this nail I told you guys all about it I still have not fixed it I just have not had the time I've actually been all over the place again when I mentioned I'm gonna be doing vlogs I mentioned that you know my life isn't that simple it's simple but it's not that simple and then the things that I do do I can't really show you guys like that um, because I'm around a lot of people that one I don't even know if they want to be on here and two like the areas I don't know if I'm like allowed to show you guys these areas I'll try to show you guys as much as I can um, whenever I go to certain places but I don't know how much I can show where I live people are very like like and I don't want to say people as in the people that I'm around but like yeah I don't know is stuck up the right word no I don't even know if people use that word anymore but like not necessarily conservative or that could just be my perspective of people like they don't want to be on camera they give you like weird looks um yeah so I'll try to go I'll try to bring you guys wherever I can um, show you guys whatever I can um, but yeah let's go get some mac and cheese and some oat milk 
and things like that. I already had my coffee for today. I actually made an iced coffee. So I picked up this iced coffee machine from Walmart on Black Friday. I only showed you guys the hair products that I picked up, but I actually picked up this iced coffee machine um, that I have not used yet, but I love iced coffee. So it kind of got me like into the groove for this, mor for this morning. So I ended up just... I brewed some coffee yesterday, put it in the refrigerator, and then I took some out today, put some half and half in it, um, and like some, I have these syrups that I picked up from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those places. Um, I, so I ended up making the pumpkin cinnamon roll iced coffee was the flavor. So I've had my coffee for today. I try to only have one a day. Um, so I've had that already. I actually want another one I just feel I feel like with iced coffee I drink it so fast that I always want another one immediately hot coffee I can sip on that throughout the day but iced coffee I can as well like especially if I go to like Dunkin's or something like that I can get I can go through the day but when I make it myself I like slurp that thing down like gulp it down so, let me stop talking and let's go to Walmart good morning so yesterday i never came back to you guys because i ended up staying in the house i didn't go purchase anything um but what i want to show you guys is this little thing and i kind of mentioned it yesterday let me see where i want to put it so you guys can see okay so Sorry, I'm like looking to make sure I'm in. I am. Okay. So, I told you guys I love iced coffee. So, let me show you guys what it is I was talking about. This camera. So, I purchased this Gourmia iced coffee maker. Um... So it says, refreshing iced coffee in under four minutes. Blah, blah, blah. Includes reusable filter, full flavor, never watered down. We'll see, because I will be trying it. It does come with this tumbler and straw. And yeah, we know it can, if I stick to it, you could definitely save hundreds of dollars a year. And I think, a year. And I think I, um, how much did I pay for this? Again, I bought it Black Friday. I think I paid 15 bucks. Um, you get a measuring scoop because if I'm not mistaken, you have to use like, let me see where it says it. If you got you covered, la 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 la. It said it somewhere. Oh, here we go. Quick and easy, add water. And you have to use coffee grounds. At first I thought you used like a Keurig cup. But you actually have to use coffee grounds. Ice and start. So we'll try this and I'll let you guys know. And I'll show you guys um, how it comes out. So while I'm doing this, um, so I got, first of all, I got this machine from my Nespresso maker, because I also have a Nespresso maker. Can you guys tell I love coffee? Um, and let me clarify, you're not going to, it's a little messy around here. But I just want to let you guys know that this little iced coffee maker 
I don't care too much for. Um, so it's still, it's been done for a while. I've had to put like a napkin under here because it doesn't come with something for me to put under there. It's still um, dripping. It's like a hot coffee machine. The only thing, the only reason I probably will keep it is because the length, excuse my ashy hands, the length of it is perfect for like a larger cup with ice. So it definitely, in that aspect, it's easier um, to make it in that aspect. But other than that, if you found a way to make iced coffee, just continue on with that way because this, it's a waste of money. Don't even waste your money. So on this one that I have, since I'm already here, I could do cold foam, which is the blue, or hot foam. And because I'm making iced coffee right here, I'm doing the cold foam. And you can kind of see it going here. So yeah, in my opinion, that machine just, no, just save your money, if anything, honestly. So I sat down because I want to try this with you guys. I have not tried it yet. Um, it's good. Honestly, I was going to say, like, I was contemplating if I was going to return it, but I paid 15 bucks for it. Either 10 or 15 dollars and honestly that's about how much a tumbler would cost me so it would it's almost like I just paid for the tumbler but it's actually good it doesn't taste watered down at all like it does say that on a box it does not taste watered down um, this is really good I think part of it is just the way I made it like the creamer and um, the flavoring it's it's so good um, or maybe it's just the fact that it's not ignore all that extra noise in the back um, but yeah it's good it's good I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do today I need to go buy a rug I need to go buy a rug that's what I need to go get a kitchen rug it's just gonna say like Happy holidays or I think I have one downstairs if I have one downstairs then I don't know I'm trying not to be like I'm trying to shop with purpose I'm trying to shop with purpose and I haven't been in like I try not to go in stores as much I love shopping in stores but I've just been more shopping online so like the thought of going in store right now, knowing there's probably a lot of people in there, it's just literally that's how I feel. Um, but we'll see. I have a couple packages coming in, coming in today, so I'll show you guys that. I still never picked up the mac and cheese. Do I want to do that? Literally, guys, the thought, <laughs> the thought of going anywhere right now is just. I just want to sit in my house and do nothing. You guys have those days where you just want to sit in your house and do nothing. That is how I'm feeling. But the problem with sit sitting in your house and doing nothing and getting comfortable and doing that over and over again is that becomes your norm. And you don't want to be like that. Like doing it here and there is fine. But doing it regularly is not good. It's good to have a schedule. It's good to be consistent. Like on my days off, I find that I have no schedule, no consistency. Like I wake up whenever I want. I shower whenever I want. Whereas if I'm going to work, like I know I'm going to shower right before I go to work early in the morning. Like, yeah. There has to be some kind of schedule. But yeah, we'll see um, where we're going to go today. I'm gonna keep sipping on this because it's so good.
So guess who decided to get dressed? I have on this turtleneck, these pants, and I decided to wear my um, Louis Vuitton shoes. Not sure why it's not really focusing in, but I decided to wear these today. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. Guys, I still have not left the house. Like, it's so bad. I still have not left the house. Um, but I'm going to, clearly, because I decided to get dressed. I am going to, and hopefully I keep this on. Because sometimes I'll have an outfit and decide, like, I want to try something different. But hopefully I decide to keep this outfit um probably put a coat on i have a coat right there you guys can see um but yeah i'll see you guys shortly All right, so you can get it like this. Unfortunately, I'm chewing gum, so I'm sorry. You can get the Flaming Hot, and you can get the cheesy. for you and I am actually looking for the worst thing for you and this is it right here coke zero cherry oh no the cherry vanilla right So I just got home from work um, as I'm so tired and I'm actually getting ready to go to the movies why I have no clue I'll show you guys what I'm wearing for today I am exhausted not egg ex exhausted I'm exhausted um yeah and when I come back if I have more energy because I'm getting ready to drink some coffee um, I'll show you guys a couple of packages that I was supposed to open with you guys a couple days ago, but I didn't. Um, yeah, that's my plan. Go to the movies, eat some popcorn. I love movie popcorn. Um, and then I'll come home because your girl is tired. So, I'll see you guys soon. Let me see if you can kind of see what I'm wearing. Ignore the socks. So this top is from my boutique. These bottoms are actually from my boutique as well. And I'm just gonna be throwing on some white boots and my Laquan Smith coat. Um, that's what I plan on wearing today. This is my Laquan Smith coat. I wanna show you guys. Like the details on this is just everything, everything.
All right, guys, so I'm just gonna open a couple packages with you guys. Um, I don't know, I should probably. So, like I said, I just got back from the movies. I am so tired. Um, with working and then going to the movies, I am exhausted. My eyes, you can probably tell. Um, but this is the first thing that I got. I've heard nothing but good things about this lotion. I have not tried it yet. It's the Kiehl's Creme, Creme de Corpse lotion. And I ended up getting it in the liter. I believe this is $80. Let me check the price. Let's see how much was this? I think it was, I think this retails for $80, but I ended up paying $56 for this lotion and it better be good. Um, Cause $56 for some lotion, like if it's great, I'll use it. But if it's not, I'm getting a refund for sure. But it has like no scent which I'm fine with that. Um, Cause sometimes when I wear my perfumes, like I'll, like this is a trick my cousin taught me when I was younger. So I put the perfume in the lotion and then I rub it all over my body. That way like you get the scent without spraying it all over you. Um, so I don't mind an unscented lotion. Let's open this. I don't know where this is from. Oh, Sephora. This one is from Sephora. Um, whoo, my head is on fire. Ooh, this is all like out of the box. So, this is the replica. Um, let's see if I can get some lighting in here. This is the replica set, as you can see. Um, I like to try perfumes this way. Like if I have not tried it before, I'll pick up like a set so I can try them out. But this is like, all oh, I don't even know where to start. I'll probably put them all together. But the scents that you get on here is the Jazz Club. You get the Under the Lemon Trees at the Barber Sailing Day Beach Walk, Springtime in a Park by the Fireplace. I heard by the Fireplace smells pretty good. Lazy Sunday mon Morning Whispers in the Library and Bubble Bath. Um, again, this is the replica, the Mason Margiela um, replica. Little mini scents. And I'm going to put these all together, but this is how... They look, I believe these are, how many? Let's see, they are like two mLs of perfume. That's not gonna focus, but either way. Oh yeah, I kinda did. But this is how it looks. It's pretty small, you don't get much, but that's okay because I just wanna see um, which one of these scents I like before I go and I purchase like an entire scent, like a whole, um, like a big bottle of it. And then I ended up grabbing this lotion in the smaller bottle in case I really do like it. I wanted to make sure that I have even more of it. This would be more of like a travel size for me. So I ended up grabbing that. And I think that was it with this order. Let me see if I have like some prices for you know this is my receipt but it doesn't it does not share any prices but just a little trick if you want to try different kind of perfumes get like a little trial size this is another order from um sephora let's see if we can open it all right um what's this this is another perfume sampler this is the Sephora favorites. I'm not sure where my battery pack died, but you get the Mason Margiela Autumn Vibes Turkish Rose Perfume Oil, the Tom Ford Valentino Victor and Rolf, which I do have the Victor and Rolf one, and I recommend that, and the Saint Laurent Smell. I'm gonna try to open this so I can show you guys 
like what this looks like inside. But this is cute. It's even like a cute little gift. If you're looking for gifts for someone, this is very cute. So yeah, this is what you get. Another little set of small ones just so I can try it out and see how they smell. I know for sure the Victor and Rolf one is very good because I have that one already. And then what else did I get here? So I got the Fenty Beauty. Um, you guys know I love me some Fenty Beauty. So I ended up getting, this is the Longwear Foundation, but this is just like a small little one. I didn't realize it was gonna be this small. Like I need a big foundation. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's probably good for like not much of a wear but i'll probably have to go back and get this in a bigger size because this is how big it is like this is the palm of my hand there's nothing i can do with that little old thing and i ended up picking up um another brow pencil so i usually get the brow mvp and i get it in the color soft black i really love this thing like i really really like it and i think that was all i picked up i didn't get too much um stuff from sephora sorry my nose is itchy and i think part of it is just i need to take my behind to bed so i'll open a couple more things with you guys before i go to bed because i am exhausted all right Okay, so I ended up getting the, so if you watch my other vlog, I grabbed a car mount and I didn't know, like the way it was set up, I, it like it was for a GoPro, but I ended up doing a little bit of research and it says to purchase like a dash mounting disc. Let me come up a little closer so you guys can see. So this is the car mount. And then in doing the research, it says that I should get a adhes adhesive mount. So you put the adhesive mount down and then the suction sticks on there and then it kind of stands up so then I could put my vlogging camera on there like that. So we'll be trying this next and hopefully it works. If not, I'm like over, I'm done trying to find, um, Thanks for the vehicle, for my car. I'm just done. And then I just picked up this little cord piece for my mic because my mic is not working. So I ended up getting this. Hopefully I can get um, some better sounds out there for you guys. I'm just gonna bring me up here a little bit. Um, oh my God, I look, I look <laughs> insane. Look at my eyes. Oh my God, I look so exhausted, so exhausted. But I wanted to open these up with you guys because I've been saying I'm gonna open up a couple of my packages and it was about time that I opened a couple of my packages. So yeah, I am going to take a shower and I am going to bed because I'm tired. I'm tired and it's only like, it's not even 10 o'clock, it's like nine something and I am so ready for my bed. Like. I need to go to bed and I'm going to bed. Good night.